It's December, officially winter. Christmas is just around the corner. I'm decorating my house for Christmas. Are you ready for the Christmas? The first thing I do is getting a tree. I grew up in Asia and I never knew that in the US, people actually use live trees. When my husband told me about it like a long time ago, I was shocked. Like, what? A real tree? You must be kidding. Obviously, he wasn't. Then I remembered the movie Home Alone. In the movie, little Kevin cut a tree off from his backyard or front yard and take it to his house, decorate it. I watched the movie like a hundred times and I always thought that's a movie thing, not a thing that people actually do in real life. But turns out it wasn't a movie thing. People actually do use live trees. I do Christmas decoration after Thanksgiving. I know many people do before Thanksgiving, like right after Halloween, but I like to do it after Thanksgiving. I want Thanksgiving to be the main star of the Thanksgiving day, not like appetizer of Christmas. One more thing I was surprised by having a live tree as a Christmas tree is we actually need to water the tree. First, I was very surprised, but when I thought about it, it actually makes sense. It's a live tree. It needs water like any other indoor plant. Before my kids start placing some ornaments, the tree needs some preparation, like a skirt. Okay, my skirt should be inside of this bean. I found the star, and here it is. Just like I didn't know people actually use live trees, I also didn't know a live tree needs few requirements like a stand and a skirt. So the very first year my family got the tree, we didn't have a skirt. We ran to Target, but of course all the nice looking skirts are gone and there was not so nice looking ones left. I got this skirt a few years ago and I like it, it's kind of fluffy and soft. I'm taking all my Christmas decoration out and I realized I have a lot. But I always feel like I don't have enough. I don't know about you guys, but it takes a few days for me to decorate the house. My kids are keep bugging me to put lights up so they can decorate the tree. I always put lights horizontally and it's a bit of work. It actually needs two people. So this year, I decided to put vertically. Okay, get up there. This tree is six foot. My daughter wanted to get a foot, but I think a foot is just too tall for my house. We usually get seven foot Douglas, but this year we got six foot novel. Novel is much prettier. It's always more expensive too. Okay, the lights are all done. Putting it up vertical is a lot easier than horizontal. You guys should try. I like this big size ornament. They're pretty. I don't use a hook for big size ornaments. Sometimes big size ornaments are too heavy for a hook so they end up falling off. Instead of hanging, I place big size ornaments on top of a branch where it has big gaps. My kids can do the rest of it. Every year, my kids pick their own ornaments, one or two. This white sparkly high heel is my daughter's. She picked it when she was what? Four? Five. I will leave off to the rest of the tree decoration to my kids. Time to say bye to this fall decor. You guys did a good job. I will see you guys next year. And say hello to my winter decor. And this one is my favorite. People actually do this. They put a tree on top of their car. It's like something you thought that's a fairy tale. Turns out it's actually a true thing. And how cool is that? 
I'm making a centerpiece for my dinner table. This garland is wired so I can arrange it the way I want. I'm going to use Christmas pigs, ornaments, and candles to decorate it. Placing candles first. And my nutcrackers. I like nutcrackers. They're kind of creepy looking, but at the same time, they're cute. And some ornaments. And I use Christmas pigs to fill the gap. It also adds more colors to it. And my centerpiece is done. Aren't they pretty? I like this carousel ornament. It looks like a vintage. I got it from Goodwill. I just love this one. And here's my cute but kind of a creepy looking nutcracker. Hello, good to see you again. This centerpiece will look beautiful with my Christmas dinner. Nice placemats, Christmas plates. Those candles are battery operated. And this lights too. I hide a switch underneath the garland, then place a Christmas pick. Perfect. Time to decorate the stairway rail. I grew up in a house where there was no stairway. So stairway rail with Christmas decoration is like from the movies. So when I first moved into a house with a stairway, I got obsessed with Christmas decoration. I decorate my rail with Christmas ornaments with hooks. Just like decorating a Christmas tree. And Christmas picks. Slide a Christmas pick in between ornaments. I'm about halfway down and my rail looks good. Gather multiple sizes together, they look pretty like that. I'm almost done with the first part of the rail. Okay, time for a coffee break. Before my kids come home from school, Oh, nice coffee break. My husband and I built this ship together. This is only time of the year the ship has to give up its place to the general nutcracker. And Santa Claus nutcracker. My kids are done decorating the trees with ornaments, and I just need to do my last touch-up with ribbons. I started to using ribbons since last year. I think the ribbon completes the decoration. Isn't it pretty? The tree is done. Just a few more things to go. These are fake gift boxes. It's like a display only. It's for my stockings. They are empty inside. This is how I decorate my stockings. Put a fake gift box in and a Christmas pick to decorate it. Every Christmas, our family choose which stocking is for them. I think I'm gonna choose polar bear for myself this year. 
Christmas stockings are another thing that I never thought it's a true thing. It's not even a movie thing. It was like a storybook thing. So when I found out people actually do put Christmas stockings on, I was like, what? Those are real too? I was like happily shocked. Decorating my house is almost done, about 80%. I'm making Christmas ornaments cookies. Cream the butter, making the dough. And rolling, rolling. Cut the dough out. I'm using a glass. Reroll the dough so we can make more cookies out of it. Can't waste it, right? There, I can make at least three more cookies out of it. I'm making simple sugar icing. It's easy to make and easy to dip in. I decided to dip my cookies into the icing this time instead of piping because it's easier for my kids to do that way. Dipping method, we can still get smooth icing on top of the cookies. Add food coloring into icing. Place Reese's peanut butter cup mini size. And look, aren't they cute? And these are my daughters. She's not going to be happy if she finds out I put these on the video. But aren't they so cute? How can I not put it in? My real decorating is finally done. I like how I did. And I like this little house. I do keep the tags on. I don't know why. I just do that. My lanterns are out. Some gifts are already under the tree. And my coffee table is ready too. I change my theme of coffee table decoration every year. This year's theme is small snowy village in deep in the wood. What do you think? Are they look like a small snowy village? Christmas decoration look always better when the main lights are off and only the Christmas lights are on. Don't they have this kind of a magical feeling? You see those candles in my lantern? They are battery operated. Well, time to say goodnight. Oh, wait. Who's this on my Christmas tree?